Dear IDMT students, my name is Sankalp, one of the students who completed the previous iteration of the course. First of all, this is what you get when you complete the course. We faced quite a lot of difficulties while taking the course and I don't want you to face those. Hence, this video. Here are a few things that you need to know before you start the course. MOOCs, in general, are not just about watching the lectures and submitting a quiz. The real learning happens in the discussion forums. Make sure that's your most frequently clicked link. Now we all know how annoying math is, especially when it doesn't look like math and looks something like this. Fortunately, there's a solution to that. Coursera forums do support math. Let us learn how to type math. To tell the system that you're going to type math, type the dollar symbol twice. Now whatever you write after that, that will be rendered as math. Remember to end your math with a $2 symbol. Suppose I want to write the Greek letter Kappa. Type the $2 symbol or the dollar symbol twice. Then type the backward slash. Type Kappa and end it with $2 once again. Click on the random math and Coursera engine provides you with the instant preview. Let's try some calculus. Okay. This is known as latex code. Now every operator, symbol you type in latex has to be preceded with a backward slash. And that's all that there is to it. Just go through some of these codes. You'll frequently need these. My main intention with this video was making you familiar with latex. Now you could google up latex codes and find a whole list of codes that you can type. One more important thing. There will be difficult times throughout this course. Don't panic. Press the pause button. The beauty of this online video learning format lies in the art of pressing the pause button. That is the single most revolutionary key on your keyboard. Coursera has a shortcut of P to pause. You might consider memorizing it. Other than that, take this course to learn to think, not to learn any math trick, formula or technique. The quicker you adapt to this perspective, the more you will enjoy this course. MOOCs are new. The journey isn't easy. And keeping yourself motivated isn't an easy job. But stick to it. At the end of the course, you will be much more proud of yourself. To Prof. KD and the staff, good luck for this iteration. I know you take so much pain to give the gift of knowledge. Very very best of luck to you. Thanks for watching. Who said only profs can make videos in a MOOC? The music support for this video was provided by TabTheTech. Anyone can join TabTheTech to make videos that make a difference.